28, the control free character, perfecting things that don't need perfecting. Within this post, I'm looking at this point of obviously my perfectionist tendencies within myself that I see that I go into in like an obsession, compulsive way. Um, because within myself, I fear things not being in control, not being orderly. And so to compensate with this thing, I go into this point of perfection where I need everything to be perfect. And so within this point, I was looking at how I do this with things that don't, like, it doesn't matter if it's perfected or not. Like, it doesn't have to be that way. And, um... What made me see this point was, I didn't even realize I was doing this honestly until one time I was in a chat actually with Sunette. This is what woke me up to it. <laughs> and she's like, she, her Skype got erased and she wanted me to email her the conversations we've had, we've had because she wanted to like review it or have it on record or whatever. And so I was like, oh, yeah, and so I started doing it, and she was, she, it was like a few times later, and she was asking me about it, and I was like, oh, I'm still working on it, <laughs> and what I was doing, I was making it, so my name was in a specific color, and her name was in a specific color, so it would be easier to read, and, like, it was taking me forever to do, and she's like, you can just send it, you don't need to, you know make it so specific and ridiculous. No, she didn't say that, but you don't need to make it so specific. You know, just send it and I'm just going to read it. It's fine. I was like, all right. <laughs> and so it's just like that point of not realizing what I'm doing, not doing things that are practical, but doing things to a point of obsession because I have this point in myself where I want to control everything and have everything be the way I want it so I'll just work on it and do things that don't necessarily have to be worked on and do things and you know messed with and within doing this I waste time and I waste you know energy that I could be using on things that are practical and useful so I did self-forgiveness and commitments on this point to stop first become aware of my breathing become aware of what I'm doing in each moment Obviously, to become more aware of yourself and what you're doing, the breathing and the aligning to your breath, aligning to the present moment is supporting in that point of realizing what you're doing because you can easily get lost in your mind, just be thinking, thinking, and just go into autopilot, just keep doing things but not actually being practical within what you're doing. So. I've seen how I do that a lot within trying to make things perfect, like different formatting things and stuff at work also, like making things absolutely perfect, which is cool in ways because obviously the look of things and making things look as best they can is a good thing to do, but in places that it's not valid and it's not needed, then I shouldn't be wasting time at that point. So just a point of like a maintenance, like a checking of myself to make sure that I'm not going to points based on trying to perfect things because I want, you know, my touch on it and my um, desires to be met within the point or the project or whatever I'm doing, but walk within consideration of what I'm doing, the time that I'm putting in, who it is affecting, and, you know, make sure that I'm doing things that are practical and you know, best for everyone, not just my own mind desires. So, mm, practicing this point and becoming more aware of what I'm doing, more aware of when I go into this pattern, and so stop it. Alright, thanks for listening.